Well, time is running out in the 2022 year, and we are taking some time to look back on the year. In 2022, there were many medical invent, uh, innovations, and with more on that, we have our nine health expert, Dr. Pyle Coley, joining us this morning with her top picks of the year. Good morning, Dr. Coley. Good morning, Jordan. Absolutely. Well, there are always uh, seems to be a shortage of that blood banks that we've been talking about. Tell us a little about this innovation um, that may make the need for donated blood a little bit unnecessary. It's so amazing. We've had so many innovations this year. I've had a hard time picking just three of them, but this blood bank one was really interesting. So it's actually blood grown in a lab that was given to humans for the first time ever. And so what they did is they took stem cells from donors and they took the stem cells and turned them into red blood cells and administered the blood to human beings. Now it was a small amount of sure. blood, only about five or 10 cc's, which is a couple of teaspoons, but it was a proof of principle that A, we can do this. We can take a cell and turn it into some, something else that we want to turn it into and be that the individuals are not having any reaction. So, so I think this really opens the door for doing this on a more permanent basis. A, we wouldn't need blood transfusions, uh, excuse me, blood donations in the future from individuals because we could just grow the blood in the lab essentially. Sure. And B, the lifespan of those red blood cells is actually longer because when you get blood from somebody else, some of them die in less than three months because it's all different you know, they were born at different times, but these red blood cells were all born at the same time. Well, that can really help in the event of, unfortunately, let's say it because we've covered this here on Nine News, a mass casualty or something like that. Oh, absolutely. And we're talking about patients with thalassemia. We're talking about patients with sickle cell anemia, patients who need constant right. blood transfusions. So really this need of having human donors could really go away. Okay, so what about a single x-ray though to predict heart disease? This is probably my personal favorite okay. because I'm a cardiologist, right. but you know, the way that we think about heart disease has been very elementary. We just sort of guess based on your risk factors, whether or not you're going to develop heart disease. So what these researchers actually from Harvard, my alma mater did is that they took a bunch of chest x-rays and then they told the computer, you know, how many people that got those chest x-rays went on to have heart attacks or strokes. And the computer developed this deep learning algorithm, which has a whole bunch of different components to it, where it could look at a single chest x-ray and actually predict who's going to die from a heart attack or stroke. And you can imagine the implications of this because we could get a chest x-ray for almost anything. Look at that chest x-ray, not just predict our risk of dying, right. but also tell us whether or not we should be on a medicine called a statin. That's what I was going to say. That seems to be the really crucial part of this because you're going to get that news and maybe it might be a little scary for you, yeah. but you want that news so you can take action and do something to maybe reverse course there. You can modify. You can right. modify your risk factor. So it's actually a little flag. And, and I mean, we do millions of chest x-rays in the United States. Yes. So you could imagine how many people just waiting to have something bad happen, you could pick it up and actually, you know, change the course of their disease. So I think the idea of using computers yeah. to make us smarter, picking up patterns that the human eye can't detect, it's really a, an incredible innovation. Fascinating. All right, so we're going to have to see what the new year has in store, what new innovations we find out there. Dr. Coley, thank you so much.